Alright, welcome back. So, we've been spending a lot of time with Sarley lately. Oh. Hmm, I smell something delicious. Hey, we were actually, we were waiting for you. We actually just finished. Oh, curry, right on. This looks delicious. Delta, do you really love curry that much? I don't think it's just Delta who feels this way. Men in general just really seem to love curry. But what's more important is that you made it according to the recipe and succeeded. At least in shape. I was just about to see how it tastes. And um, if it's alright with the two of you, could you taste it with me? Yeah, I'll eat curry any day. Bring me an extra serving. Don't forget to gather your thoughts on the taste too. This isn't just about eating. Well, if he likes it enough to forget his feedback, I think that's a win. Anyway, here you go. Fresh out of the pot. Oh, it smells so good, and I don't see anything wrong with the presentation either. Let's dig in before it gets cold. Oh boy, that was delicious. Well, what do you think? I was actually pretty proud of that batch. It was a little on the light side, but other than that, it was great. Really? I actually thought the flavoring was just right. But we should see how it tastes tomorrow, too. You're right, it'll probably taste just right then. So it doesn't taste bad, though. No way, it wasn't bad at all. Compared to the Chaz and Delta mix, what I'm saying, there's no comparison. <laughs> Point taken. Wait, that makes me look completely incompetent. I only spoke the truth. Thank goodness, it's still far from perfection, but it seems edible from your reaction. It's just like you said, Cass, this recipe is magic. And as you make more, you'll develop your own style. It's the perfect dish for capturing a man's stomach. So, I should keep on practicing then, right? Thanks, Cass. I think that gave me the confidence I needed. No, don't worry about it. There aren't many things I can teach you, so I'm glad I was able to... If only I had known curry would solve all our problems, I would have taught you how to make it a long time ago. You can't blame yourself for that. I just got depressed all on my own. It's also my fault. But I feel like talking to you lifted a huge burden off my shoulders. I think that played a major role in my gaining confidence. You're exaggerating. I don't think so, truly. I owe you one. You really saved me. Here's a part of that feeling. I hope you can accept it. So we got a recipe, a gift to cast. Oh, and I think we got one of those from Canon, too. Uh, if you're trying to thank me, I wish you would have given me the final product and not a recipe. The beauty of a recipe, though, is you're never 100% sure what's going to happen, right? It'll be a surprise, I'm sure. This better make something that I'm really going to like. Yeah, as far as I can tell, I got it spot on. As far as you can tell, why do I have this sense of doubt? But thank you, I really do look forward to seeing what this will make. Yeah, I'm sure you'll love the final product. Um, sorry to interrupt your little moment there. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So, do, uh, do you think I could get another serving of curry? I guess it's not called a magic recipe for nothing. Well then. Let's see, the greatest accessory. No, and it's probably. Oh, that's different. Memory, activity, weight. So it tells me what the item we're missing is. But we can't make that yet. So. Well, we got another scene. There's a saying, practice makes perfect. That reminds me, I made miso soup in the cafeteria before, but I could never get the flavor right. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Sometimes the miso wasn't even fully dissolved. And the flavor would change from day to day. Well, that can happen, I suppose. And I've been messing up quite a bit myself, so there's certainly reason to worry. Hey, wait a second, you don't mean... 
That's right. Here's my new recipe. Operation Delta Final. I'm very thankful for you've been trying so hard for my sake. But recently I've been waking up from a nightmare where I used the Ros Rosetta Stone. More like traumatized. So, what can we expect this time? Is it a combination of the shock treatment and Rosetta Stone? That would be a death sentence. No, I'm not going to do that this time. How should I put this? This is more uh, a cult type approach. What? Like, lobotomy? Cass, you secretly hate me, don't you? That's not true, I lo loathe the way you're just so hopeless on your own. Sarley, please continue. I'm amazed you have the nerve to say that after creating this tense atmosphere. Well, I can assure you it has nothing to do with lobotomy, so don't worry. I can guarantee success, but... Something occult-related, you say? What on earth can I expect? Yes, well, let's see. Don't say any more. <laughs> Alright. So let's see what we can synthesize here. So we can't do the greatest accessory, but apparently we can make the item that we need for the greatest accessory, maybe. Yes, we can. A Rupian's Crystal. Is that an item we can make here? A Decoherence Lottery. Okay, so we'll make one of these. Okay, and then we'll make this. Wait, what is it? Rupian's Crystal. Is that even an item we can make? It must be an item we got off enemies or something. No, it can't be. It's gotta be something we synthesized. Rupian's Crystal. Oh well, let's make this thing. It would be best if you didn't touch the plasma at the core of this. I can't guarantee that you'll survive. Don't say it would be best, just clearly tell us not to touch us. <laughs> I don't need to be so clear about it. Anyone with an ounce of common sense wouldn't touch. Wait, Delta, what are you doing? Pull back your hand right now. You scared me, why are you shouting all of a sudden? What do you mean, why? You were trying to touch the plasma, weren't you? Didn't you hear me when I said that I can't guarantee you'd survive? Y you said that? I did, I can't believe you weren't listening. Anyway, it's good that nothing serious happened. Let's put it aside. More importantly, I have a question. What do you think about a body that can't be hurt by physical attacks? Well, that's a vague question to come out out of the blue. Just answer it. Judging by the usual flow of things, we're talking about plasma, right? Yeah, if you turned your body into plasma, you couldn't be cut or even touched, really. Sorry to ruin your idea, but even I don't possess the technology to turn your body into plasma. You're saying this after creating something that could turn us into an amoeba, among other things? Yeah, whatever, just tell us what this thing is already. So impatient. The correct answer was turning your body into ectoplasm. Ectoplasm, isn't that the stuff that pops up in occult stories? Yes, to put it simply, you can think of it as spiritual energy. This RNA turns your body into that spiritual energy. I call it the ectoplasma. You can't turn us into plasma, yet you can turn us into ectoplasm? What does that even mean? This was simply a product of chance. To be honest, I didn't believe in such unscientific nonsense, but I have to believe it after seeing it myself. What the heck were you doing when would you ever see something like ectoplasm in reality? Let's just say there were various circumstances. Anyway, if you need if you turn into ectoplasm, you don't need to fear enemy attacks. You can't hurt a ghost after all. It doesn't really sound that different from turning into an amoeba. 
The main difference is when you receive an attack in this state, you won't feel much pain. It sounds like there would still be pain involved here. Feeling pain is just evident that you're alive. Isn't it weird that you're talking about evidence of being alive after turning into ectoplasm? Well, I just, uh, there's a bit of irony there, I suppose. Hey, let's make this thing. Which we don't know where to get more of those crystals, but... Maybe we'll figure it out. Oh! We just got the Science Girl Trophy, excellent! Huh? This is surprisingly simple, isn't it? Yes, I've noticed that using overly complicated machines doesn't give any results. While this may be primitive, I decided that it was the safest method to bring back your memories. Isn't that just a pendulum, and what are you going to do with it? Isn't there only one way to use a pendulum? Yeah, you swing it. Wait, you can use hypnosis, Charlie? No, this isn't hypnosis. I'm utilizing the effect of how Rupian's crystals react to memories. I discover that when this crystal is swung at a certain interval, its effect becomes more powerful. So that's why you made it a pendulum? Correct. If I use this pendulum of Rupia, it should be possible to finally reclaim Delta's memories. That sounds pretty safe. Alright, let's get started. Okay, relax and stare at the pendulum, then listen closely to the sound of my voice. What is your mother's name? I don't know. Is this a failure? Cass, calm down. Let's move on to the next question. Do you know about anything you did back when you were on Rasiella? It doesn't matter if you remember it yourself, just think of something. Even just something we talked about. I helped Eon when she was in trouble, then brought her back to my house. Then, uh... Oh, my mom hit me right on top of my head. She thought I had lied or something to get her to come over. I've never heard of this before. Did Cass tell you about it? Uh, no, it wasn't me, although I know Delta was the one who helped Eon. Cass, try talking to him about something. Just be sure not to rush, and take it slowly. Okay. Hey, do you remember about our secret base? The secret base where you and me and Pam would always hang out? It was inside a big tree, just the two of us built it. I cleaned it up inside and you reinforced it so it wouldn't collapse. We brought all kinds of stuff we found there and it ended up filled like a storage room before we knew it. Don't call it a storage room, we handpicked everything in there, it was like a mountain of treasure. There was that one rainy day where we carried this huge iron plate I found in an alley together. Yeah, I remember. Thanks to that, my new clothes got all dirty and I got in trouble later. You hit me after we finished carrying it back. I think we're even. That's not enough to make it even. I really like those clothes. Do you remember anything else? Yeah, I don't think it's everybody, but I can remember a lot of people's faces. There's Cass and Sarley's uncle, my mom, and also Pram. I can't believe it. How could I forget something important like this? Delta, just concentrate on remembering things. Yeah, but I don't know what to do about that. What do you mean? You can't remember anything else? No, it's just... It seems like I've remembered everything. I don't even know where to start talking. There's the huge flower Eon created and the time I snuck into the tube company. Oh, right, and the time I visited the school you two went to. I was so... It was so high class, I was really nervous. Cast, it looks like we succeeded this time. Yeah, I am so glad, Delta. This is really great. Sorry for worrying you, Cat. Worrying you. I'm so sorry, Cass. I was pretty worried too, you know. I know. Thank you too, Sarley. You can stop the pendulum now. Okay, I'll do that. The three of us should all talk about the past today. Delta's finally got his memories back, after all. That's a good suggestion. We should have a party to celebrate the return of Delta's memories. If only we had a little energy drink Delta liked, it would be perfect. Energy drink? One I liked? You don't remember? You always drink it to motivate yourself before doing anything. You don't remember buying a huge amount in bulk and leaving it in the secret base? What are you talking about? What do you mean by secret base? Huh? You know, our secret base. The place where you and me and Pram... Delta, in four seasons you visited a place where both Cass and I went. Do you know what that place was? 
Wait a second, what the heck is Four Seasons? I've never heard that name before. What's going on? Delta was talking so clearly about the past until just a minute ago. It seems that he can only remember his memories while the pendulum is swinging. As evidence, the moment I stopped the pendulum, he returned to his previous state. Then, if we just keep swinging the pendulum, Delta's memories would... Do you intend for Delta to live his entire life staring at this pendulum? That's not... Yes, that's not possible. There's no way we could do that. I thought we had finally succeeded this time. Thanks, both of you. I don't deserve any gratitude. I just made another failed item. That's not true. I'm plenty thankful for this item. My memories might not have returned, but I was able to talk about the past while it was swinging, right? That means my memories of that time are still inside my head somewhere. I can't remember them, but they're there. Just knowing that makes me really happy. That's why I'm seriously grateful. Thank you, Sarley. Cass, I'm sorry for getting your hopes up like this. This isn't your fault, Delta. I'm still the cause of all this. Anyway, I still can't remember anything about the past, but, um, you know, you won't abandon me, right? <laughs> you can't remember anything about the past, but you're still an idiot. Of course I wouldn't do that. I won't abandon you forever, even if you don't like it. Forever, huh? Uh, I suppose that's good, too. Oh, that was a nice little item. Um... I guess we can make the greatest accessory now. So let's do that. Okay. Wow, this is lovely. This is a Magatama, right? Hmm, you know about Magatama? They're rare to see in this era, so I figured you wouldn't know. There was actually a time when Magatama-shaped accessories were popular. Of course, the boom only lasted for a few months before crashing. There was a boom like that. I must have missed it. This is pretty cool. It might even be useful. That could be, but I think this is something for Cass to carry. I created this accessory with the image of a certain woman in mind. A certain woman? Yes. I'm sure you don't know the meaning of the word... Tokikagura, so I'll explain it. Tokikagura refers to a person who has traveled across many dimensions. In other words, you used a dimensional traveler as the image for this Megatama? Wait, does Toki Tokikagura have to refer to a woman? In the case of this one, yes. She might be so close that you haven't realized that this Tokikagura is Eon. Oh, I see. Then I guess I shouldn't hold on to it. While well, seeing how I made this for Cass, I probably should have used her image to make it. I, I don't mind. It's so pretty, after all. But when I imagine Eon, this seems a little too neat and pretty to represent her. Uh, I guess she's a bit slow when it comes to something, so you could have it have made it plainer. <laughs> just to emphasize... Or just to... Just think of it as something made to emphasize the mysterious nature of the Toki Kagura. Okay. So we synthesize all that. Okay, what do we got here now? Oh, is everything alright? You look a little pale. I haven't gotten much sleep. Been so focused on creating recipes. You've got a new recipe then? Come on, let's have a look. Sure, but I doubt you'll understand today's recipe with just a glance. I intend to create the items with some advanced techniques. Looking at the recipe won't tell you much. That sounded like a roundabout insult to our intelligence. Of course, compared to you, we might not be that smart, but don't judge us by... for giving us a chance. Um, I really wasn't insulting anybody. But if that's how you feel, then perhaps it's best you take a look. Here's the recipe. Our messed up world. Well then. What is this? It's packed with numbers and weird diagrams. It's hard to believe this is a recipe. Well, first of all, you're looking at it upside down. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, of course, we wouldn't understand it. It's upside down. What the? Yeah, I still don't get it right side up. I told you, didn't I? It's not something you could easily understand. 
This recipe uses a lot of advanced techniques and machinery in its pipeline. Do you get it now? You just repeated yourself. How are we supposed to get it from just that? Then, let me try to explain it again. Do you really think I could write down such an advanced recipe on this little sliver of paper? If I were to write it normally, it would take a binder as thick as a dictionary. I've reduced it to only the bare essential information. Wow, that's quite a reduction, I have to say. Like I said, the bare essentials. Besides, even if I had written it down normally, I doubt you two could comprehend it. Even if I were to show this to a mechanical engineer, they'd probably say, How the hell am I supposed to make this thing? That is how complicated and convoluted this recipe is, so... Okay, stop, 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 we get it! I understand now that this recipe is completely beyond our understanding. Yeah, it hurts my head just listening to Sarley talk about it. Remember, I'm the one who has to make it, so... All you two have to do is sit back and enjoy. But, it's fun to imagine what the recipe is going to make before it's complete. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just... It's never ending. Um, I think we're going to take a little break from the synthesizing next time, because I just like, can't do any more. I mean, although I find the little storyline and all the little background stuff interesting, it's just... It, it's too much, too much, too much. Alright, so we'll take a break there, and next time we will not be doing more synthesizing. We will return to it at a later time, because uh, it seems like we still have plenty of things to do before this game wraps up. So until then, thanks for watching.